So if you are using Blogger platform, then there is a bad news for you. So there is the biggest downgrade in Blogger website. Now you can't export your data, export your blog content to WordPress website. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I go to settings and here if I scroll down and search for this option backup content. So earlier if you click on this, then it will download a XML file which you can use in other blogger website or you can directly import that content to your WordPress website. But now you can do that. So let me just show you. So if I click on a backup content and if I click on download, it will take me to the Google website where you can see the Google takeout website, takeout.google.com and here you can export your data. So suppose I want to export my blogger data. So it is automatically selected the blogger. So let me click on the blogger format and it will export your blog feed that is in Atom format and then it will export your photos in PNG, JPG and WebP format and all the album metadata, videos and all the settings in CSV file and all your profile setting theme XML file. So you will see all these options. So here you need to click on the next step. Now it will send a download link via email and here you can select the file type to zip file. Now you will get the zip file where you will get the atom file instead of the XML file. So make sure to set the file size to 2 GB and let's click on create export. Now it will take some time depending upon your website and it will get an export file like this. So I have already exported in July 16. So you can download it again. So let me download it first. So earlier you will get a plain XML file. Let me enter my password. Now you will see a download file like this. So you can see takeout.zip. So make sure to download the zip file first. All right, as you can see, we have the zip file downloaded. Let me right click on it and let me extract it here. So you can use the Windows zip extractor or you can use software like 7zip. And if you are using mobile, then you can use any zip extractor app. So here let me open the blogger folder and here you will see some folders like blogs, albums, content. So let me select the album here. As you can see, you will see all the images of your blog. So let me select it here. So here you will see all the images. Now let me go back to the blogs folder here. Now here you need to select the website which you want to export. Suppose I want to export this content blogger tutorial. So what I can do is I will go to that blogger tutorial folder. Now here you will get some file like feed.atom and theme layout.xml. So this is the theme backup and then you have follower settings and theme classic.html. All right, we need this file feed.atom. Let me copy this and let me go to the download folder and let me paste it here. All right, now I can use this file to export my content from one blogger website to other blogger website, but this will not work in WordPress right now. So you need to follow a different method for importing content to WordPress. So I will show you that method in a minute. Let me export my content from one blogger website to other. So we have the first website blogger tutorial and I want to export all its content to a different website. So you can see there is total 13 published blog posts and here are the blog posts. So, so I want to export this content to this website. So what I can do is I will go to settings and we will go to the same import option. So let me click on import content. Now we'll click on import. And here you will see a settings like this automatically publish all imported posts and pages. So if you enable this option, then it will automatically publish those posts when you import it. So let's click on import. Now let me select the feed.atom file and let me click on import. Now it will take depending upon the number of blog posts you have on the website. So let's wait as you can see importing content. So let me go to the post and it will take some time to reflect it in the post section. So let's refresh it. And as you can see, all these contents are now imported to our new website like this. 
So this is how you can import your content from one blogger website to other blogger website. Now let's test that in WordPress as well. So let me go to WordPress dashboard. So earlier you will go to tools and click on import. Now here you will see an option blogger import post comments and users from a blogger blog. Let me click on run importer and let me choose the file and let me select the atom file here and let me click on upload file and import. Now let's click on submit. Now let's go to post and nothing happened. The posts are not imported because we have the atom file. So what if I switch to the XML file so I can change it to something like XML feed.xml and let me hit enter and let's click on yes. Now it's converted to a XML file. Let's test it out. So I will go to tools, click on import. Let's click on run importer. Let me choose the file feed.xml. Let's upload and import. And same thing happened. Nothing is happening in the background and the post is not importing. So this is your biggest downgrade. Now you can't directly export your content from blogger website to WordPress website, but that is a hack to import your post pages to your WordPress website. Let me just show you how you can do that. And before that, if you are liking this content, then make sure to hit the like button. So to import your content, you can use the blogger field to import all of your content. So for this, what I can do is I will go to my blogger website and let's go to settings and scroll down and search for the feed option. So make sure to set it as full allow blog feed. And if you select none, then this process will not work. So make sure to set it as full. And after that, you need to open your website. Now you need to open your feed URL. So for this, you can type forward slash feeds, forward slash post, forward slash default, like this. And let's hit enter. So as you can see, when you type forward slash feeds, forward slash post, forward slash default, it will display the feed of your blogger website. So all you have to do is just copy this URL. So this is the blogger feed URL. Now you need to go to your WordPress dashboard and you need to install a plugin. Just click on add new plugin. And we are going to install a plugin like WPE Matic RSS feed fetcher. So you can simply search for RSS feed like this. And here is the plugin. Let me install the plugin. All right, now the plugin is installed. Let's click on settings and let me enable some settings first. So I will select store image locally and I will select attach images to post, save images attributes on WP media. And let me select set fast image in content as feature image. And let's keep the rest settings on. Now here in the advanced fetching, make sure to increase the running campaign timeout. So if you have a lot of blog posts in your website, then you can increase the seconds. So let me set it from 300 to 3000 or 30,000 seconds. Now keep rest everything same. Let's click on save settings. Now let's click on add new campaign. Now let me set like blogger import and let's keep the max item to create on each page so you can check the number of blog posts in your blogger website so let's say you have 100 blog posts then you can set 100 here or you have 80 blog posts then you can also set 100 here so this is the maximum item that can fetch from your blogger feed so let me set it to 100 or you can set it like 1000 no problem now you can enable this option use feed item date and let me uncheck all these options let me select this option convert character encoding to utf8 and you can set the comment option to open if you want to allow comments on those articles let me enable this option copy the permalink from the source so it will copy the permalink structure from your blogger website 
so make sure to enable this option and you can select the author where the post will be added and let's skip all these settings and let me publish it and if you are fetching your post then you can make sure to set the post type to posts now let's add the feed url so let me paste the url that you have copied that is the post forward slash defaults and let me publish now let's go back to all campaign and let me click on this play icon here now it will fetch all of your post from the feed url so it will take depending upon your number of blog posts so if you have a lot of blog post on the website then it will take a lot of time so make sure to set the timeout seconds that we have discussed in this previous settings so keep the timeout a little bit higher if you have a lot of blog post on your blogger website so let's wait for the campaign all right the campaign is process now let's go to post and as you can see all the post content is now imported so let me open any of the blog post and as you can see the same content is added like this so this is how you can import your blogger content to your wordpress website so let me click on view and we have the content like this let me click on edit post now let me close this and let me click on here now you can select convert to blog let's copy it and let me remove it first and then paste it again so that it will convert to single blocks like this so you can edit each content individually so this is how you can import all of your content from blogger website to wordpress website using the feed similarly you can also use the page feed so you can make sure to change this post to pages so let me search for pages and let me hit enter so it will detect all the pages of your blogger website and you can also import your pages to your wordpress website here in the campaign settings make sure to set the post type to pages so let me go to the dashboard now let's go to all campaigns let me click on edit campaign and let me remove this and i will click on add feed let's copy the new feed url and let me paste it now here make sure to set the post type to pages let me click on ok now let's click on update let's go to all campaign and let's read on this campaign now it will fetch all of your pages now let's go to pages and as you can see now it has imported the about us page from our blogger website so this is how you can import all of your post and pages to wordpress website by using a plugin like this wp e matico rss feed fetcher so earlier method will not work because google has changed its method of exporting the blogger content so make sure to try it out and let me know if you face any issues in this process and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and for more videos like this do subscribe our channel thank you